white holes are one of the most mysterious and intriguing predictions of general relativity. While black holes are regions of space-time where nothing, not even light, can escape, white holes are their theoretical opposite, regions where nothing can enter. In this video, we'll explore the fascinating concept of white holes, their theoretical properties, and the ongoing scientific debate about whether they could actually exist in the real universe. Let's dive in. What is a white hole? A white hole is a hypothetical region of space-time that is the time reversal of a black hole. Just as matter and information can only fall into a black hole and never come back out, in a white hole, matter and radiation can only emerge from the white hole singularity and never enter it. White holes were first theorized by the physicist Hermann Bondi in 1956. He realized that the equations of general relativity that describe black holes also have solutions that describe white holes. These solutions are time reversals of the black hole solutions. So in a sense, a white hole is like a black hole running in reverse. Instead of a region where nothing can escape, it's a region where nothing can enter. Instead of matter and energy being crushed into a singularity, they burst forth from the singularity. Properties of white holes. White holes have some very strange and counterintuitive properties. Finite lifetime. Unlike black holes which can exist forever, white holes have a finite lifetime. They can only emit matter and radiation for a limited time before they disappear. Violent emissions. The matter and energy bursting forth from a white hole would be incredibly energetic and violent. It would be like the Big Bang in miniature, with a huge amount of matter and radiation exploding outwards at nearly the speed of light, exotic matter. To hold the matter and energy in until it's ready to burst forth, white holes would need to be made of some kind of exotic matter with very strange properties. This exotic matter would have to have a negative energy density and would violate various energy conditions, naked singularity. The singularity at the center of a white hole would be naked, meaning it would not be hidden behind an event horizon. This violates the cosmic censorship hypothesis, which states that singularities should always be hidden behind event horizons time reversal of black holes. As mentioned, white holes are the time reversal of black holes. So, if you could watch a black hole in reverse, it would look like a white hole. The main evidence for white holes comes from the equations of general relativity. When you solve Einstein's field equations, you find that the solutions that describe black holes also have time-reversed solutions that describe white holes. For example, the Schwarzschild solution, which describes non-rotating black holes, also has a white hole solution. The Kerr solution, which describes rotating black holes, also has a white hole solution. So in that sense, White holes are a natural prediction of general relativity. If black holes can exist, then their time reverse counterparts, white holes, should also be able to exist. However, this theoretical evidence is not conclusive. Just because the equations allow for white hole solutions doesn't necessarily mean they can actually form in the real universe. There are still many open questions and issues with white holes. There are several issues and problems with the concept of white holes, exotic matter, 
as mentioned, white holes would require exotic matter with negative energy density to hold the matter and energy in until it's ready to burst forth. This exotic matter violates various energy conditions and may not be physically realizable. Instability. Some calculations suggest that white holes may be unstable and prone to collapsing into black holes. So even if they could form, they may not be able to, to persist for long. Causality violations. The time reverse nature of white holes means they may allow for closed time like curves and other causal paradoxes. This raises issues about whether they are physically consistent. Lack of observational evidence. Despite extensive searches, there is no clear observational evidence for the existence of white holes. No astronomical objects have been conclusively identified as white holes. Philosophical issues. The time reverse nature of white holes also raises deep philosophical issues. If they existed, it would mean the future could influence the past, which seems to violate our intuitions about causality and the arrow of time. Despite these issues, some physicists have proposed ways to resolve the problems with white holes, quantum effects. At the quantum level, the exotic matter required for white holes may not be as problematic. Quantum effects near the singularity may prevent the formation of closed time-like curves and resolve causality issues. Wormholes. Some have speculated that white holes could be connected to black holes by wormholes, forming a kind of black-white hole complementarity. This could resolve some of the issues with white holes, quantum white holes. There has been some work on the idea of quantum white holes, white holes that form from the quantum fluctuations of space-time itself. These may not require exotic matter and could potentially resolve some of the issues. Observational signatures. Physicists are also exploring possible observational signatures of white holes that could be detected. For example, the violent emissions from a white hole could potentially be observed as a very energetic astrophysical event. In conclusion, white holes are one of the most mysterious and intriguing predictions of general relativity. While they may seem like science fiction, they are a natural consequence of the equations that describe black holes. However, there are still many open questions and issues with white holes. We don't know if they can actually form in the real universe, and there is no clear observational evidence for their existence. Resolving the problems with white holes remains an active area of research in theoretical physics. So, while the jury is still out on whether white holes are real, they continue to fascinate physicists and the public alike. They push the boundaries of our understanding of space, time, and the nature of reality. And who knows? Perhaps one day, we may discover that white holes are not just a figment of our imagination, but a real and fundamental feature of our universe. <laughs>